The Chinese government is trying to make a transition to greener energy sources as it moves away from its traditional method of power, coal. It intends to double its consumption of natural gas as part of its energy mix to 10% by 2020. And this represents an exciting opportunity for natural gas companies such as Green Dragon Gas, a natural gas producer that's been active in the country for over 20 years and operates over eight production blocks in China and I'm delighted to be joined by the founder and the CEO of the company just now Randeep Grewal. Randeep hello to you so 20 years a long time uh, we've been there a long time as you yeah. correctly said over 20 years so I would say over 20 years there's been an evolution uh, we started off with probably a bit more structured of an environment uh, got very pragmatic and capitalist along the way uh, and we're back to structure again so there's been a lot of evolution over the period of time. Mm -hmm. And where are you now then? I would say that we're now in a more stable, consistent working environment uh, where I think the government is very clear in its objectives. Um, I think the roadmaps are, are rather transparent uh, and it's a lot easier working today than it was, let's say, about 10 years ago. Okay, and in what respect do you think the government is easier to work with then than it was 10 years ago? I think 10 years ago it was, um, it was a, a boom as we all know, the China boom that did take place. So everything was a bit haphazard in my view. Um, today the government is far more stable. Um, the rules and regulations are very clear and, and frankly everyone's following them, which makes someone like Green Dragon who's always followed the rules a lot easier to execute than it was let's say a decade ago when there was a bit of an issue during the, uh, during the boom years if you will. Mm -hmm. And where does your company fit into all of this? What can you offer China? I think we are a very important mix in the Chinese domestic energy play. Um, Green Dragon Gas is seen by the central government and by the domestic government uh, or the provincial government as a key provider to clean energy within central China. So we're a niche, we're a very focused niche and we remember we're extracting gas from coal without mining the coal. So we're degassing coal and producing a very clean form of energy called coal bed methane. Very important ingredient to the domestic um, energy uh, plan that the government has at present. Okay, and who's your main competitor then? Is it d domestic China or is it the likes of Russia? I think it's the likes of Russia. I mean, I'm not sure we would even say competitor. China needs so much clean energy. Yeah, 1.4 billion people. Uh, exactly, 1.4 billion people all looking to have cleaner energy. I mean, I think when you look at any of the major cities in China, look up at the skies, um, you can't see the blue sky. And I think there's, there's a movement within China by the consumer themselves, not just by government policy, but in, in addition by the consumer themselves that are saying, we want cleaner form of energy, which is really increasing the, the demand for natural gas. Mm -hmm. And whether the gas comes from domestic China or comes from Russia, as an example, in, in your example, um, either way, gas is what the Chinese people want to consume yeah. and we're right there. With the pollution situation so bad in China, why is it taking them so long? Look, I, I, I say this all the time and I'm going to repeat myself here again. Um, I remember when London was heavily polluted mm -hmm. uh, growing up um, and in Africa and coming through London on a routine basis. So it is the industrial evolution. Uh, China today is a large economy. It built itself up on its natural resource coal. And yes, a lot of industries were coal-fired in terms of energy um, source. But as the country is now very well developed, the populace and the government collectively are going through the evolution to cleaner energy. It's a natural evolution. We're just in that transitional phase where we will go from coal-based economy into a more diversified energy-based economy where natural gas should be 15 to 20 percent of that component, which today is under five. Uh -huh. And in terms of economics, where's your company going to be this year? In terms of economics, um, our, in, in our industry we call it proved reserves. So in our proved reserves section, we're sitting at somewhere around about um, over $4 billion worth of proved reserves in present value. And I fully expect that in terms of economics going forward, I can see ourselves focusing in on greater production from the existing producing blocks while bringing on board the uh, exploration acreage into production. Okay, and what about farm outs? Where are you going with that? 
We're very excited about FarmOuts. We think that over 20 years we've proven that we are a Chinese expert. We're a Chinese expert in not just working in the country, but also working on cold bed methane, which required very specific technology that we developed over the last two decades. We have a great platform. So there are loads of companies that have always tried to get into China, wish to be in China for the Chinese gas economics that are the best in the world. We're your ideal partner. So our doors are open. We're, we're looking for people to come in um, and participate alongside us. But we are looking for a partner that is serious about producing domestic Chinese gas. OK, a, a serious partner. What kind of partner then are we talking about here? Uh, a partner would be someone that has, um, as I said, not looking at just um, booking reserves, as we call it in, our, in the industry, but someone who is interested in producing the gas. Now, what kind of partners are those? Those are certainly all the large um, or super major um, oil and gas companies uh, in the world. There are also domestic uh, power producers that are now looking for a cleaner source of energy gas vis-a-vis -vis coal. As they continue to expand the, uh, the, uh, the, the power grid or the electricity grid, uh, they're looking for natural gas. So they could be ideal partners too. Okay. So a nice diversified group in that regard. Yeah. And in terms of your balance sheet and going back to the economic side of things, what else are you looking at in terms of debt and equity? So look, um, our balance sheet is rich. Um, on our net equity value, net book value to the to the shareholders is almost 700 million US. Uh, our total debt position is about 138 million, of which 50 million is convertible debt. Uh, we see ourselves going forward with uh, a debt offering of some sort, uh, and then we'll move on to what's called reserve-based loan, which is utilizing our, our reserves, our, our gas reserves. Uh, as collateral to raising additional debt. So we're very focused now going forward with debt. Uh, we've gone through the era when a, com when a company emerges uh, on equity and quasi-equity linked products. We're now exclusively focused on debt going forward. Okay, and in terms of the timeline, when can we expect this to happen? Yesterday morning. Uh, we're a very impatient organization now. After 20 years, we're ready to get on with it. Uh, so we are very eager for monetizing our reserves. Uh, and I think you'll see us tap the market uh, prior to year end. Um, your shares aren't looking great over the last few years. What would you say to that and why is that? Um, I, I think the market um, doesn't really understand Green Dragon Gas. I mean, we've been around uh, here in London, listed in London for just over 10 years. We just had our 10th year anniversary in August. And I think um, what I would say to the market that I say all the time, look at Green Dragon. We were AIM listed. We then moved on to the main market. We've been here for more than 10 years consistent performer through economic cycles, through commodity cycles, we're consistently adding reserves and performing on the ground. Yes, we're a pure Chinese company. Yes, we're a pure natural gas company. But we're a natural gas domestic producer, one of a kind in China. And I do think that the market will wake up to us rather quickly. But it will happen like an electric switch. One fine morning, the herds will be there. And I'm very optimistic about that. Well, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much indeed. That's Randeep uh, Grewal just there talking to us about China and gas and, of course, his company, Green Dragon Gas.